Good evening and welcome to Thai PBS World. All of a sudden, the man who is supposed to play the role of a key fixer for the Prayut government has found himself in hot water. Media reports coming out of Australia are painting Deputy Agriculture Minister Tamanat Prompao as an ex-drug convict. But judging from reactions yesterday from senior cabinet members, Prime Minister Prayut Danocha himself included, it looks like their confidence in the man best known for influence peddling and connections in high places has not been shaken. The strongest endorsement apparently came from Prime Minister Prayut, who yesterday tried to play down newspaper reports about Tamanat's jail term for drug offence in Sydney, Australia in the early 90s. Prayut, showing sign of irritation when asked about the case, said every government has had its flaws. His remarks were taken as a show of support for an embattled Tamanat. Deputy Prime Minister Pravit Wongsuwan and Interior Minister Anupong Pawjinda also brush aside any negative impact from the case on the government. But apparently aware of its potential ramification, they were quick to urge Tamanat to quickly clear the air. Tamanat himself has vehemently dismissed the damning report in the Sydney Morning Herald and The Age. The two Australian newspapers reported that Tamanat was arrested along with his half-brother and two Australians in a Sydney hotel in 1993 and charged with conspiracy to import heroin. Quoting court documents, the paper said he was initially sentenced to nine years in jail. His sentence was later commuted to six years after a confession. But Tamanat denied he was ever convicted on a drug charge, but admitted he was jailed for eight months for what he described as a minor offence, but declined to provide further details. That the top Thai political leadership is treating the scandal, which is now gaining worldwide attention with Kids Globes, in itself explains what is seen as an indispensable role being played by Tamanat in the Prajut coalition government. The 54-year-old politician is a member of parliament of Palang Pacharat Party, representing the northern province of Payao, and is said to have been instrumental in the party's impressive performance in the March general election in the northern region. Tamanat, who previously allied himself with the pro taksin Pur Thai Party, was recruited by Palang Pacharat prior to the March general election. He is believed to have played a prominent role in cobbling together the coalition government with the pro military Palang Pacharat as its core. Tamanat is known for his unique connections that give him access to political movers and shakers, but he is better known for his more notorious side as an influence peddler and fixer. He has been linked to a range of shadowy businesses and at times was accused of having used strong arm tactics when things got in his way. When the formation of the Prayut led coalition after the election was in doubt, it was Tamanat who stepped in to clear the air. Tamanat is believed to have a hand in prompting the Democrat Party in making the crucial decision to join the coalition amid dissenting views within the party. Tamanat also had a role in convincing most of the small political parties to join the Prajut coalition. And when some of these parties started to rock the boat over political spoils, it was again Tamanat who intervened to get them to toe the line. The prominent political role given to Tamanat might have raised eyebrows among many people who are familiar with his past. But this is not something that would surprise political analysts because having a fixer to do the dirty work has always been part of Thai political practice. You need to get things done either by hook or by crook. And it's someone like Tamanat who will always be there to offer that kind of service. Tamanat, who is now chairman of the Election Strategy Committee for the Northern Region of Palang Pacharat, now commands close to 20 MPs under his wings. His mission is to make sure that the party makes a clean sweep of the region in the next general election. Tamanat's role is said to have the blessing of Deputy Prime Minister Pravit Wong Suwan, who sees in him an indispensable political muscle. And it's rather clear that 
ธรรมนัสแพสอิสนอตมัชออฟแอนอิชูฟอร์ดิพอลิติโกแพทริอัคออฟพลังประชารัฐแอสลองแอสฮีเดลิเวอร์สบัตวิธเดอะเลตเตอร์สแกนดูบีนพับลิซิสเวิลด์ไวด์อิสเซอร์เทลีดิฟิคอลฟอร์ดิพาวเวอร์เซตบีทูซิมพลีทูทรายทูมัดเดลทรูอิตธรรมนัสคลีมดัตวีรีวิวอลออฟดิดรัคเคสอิสพาร์ตออฟเอ็กคอนสเปอร์ซีออเคสเตรตเตอร์บายฮิสพอลิติโกแอนิมิสทูดิสเครดิตฮิม He also threatened to file legal charges against the newspapers and those behind the campaign against him. And in a major twist today, former police chief s e l i p i s u t e m i y o w e t leader of s e l i r u m Thai Party, said he was the person behind the damning reports about Thammanat. He claimed to have fed the information through the Australian newspapers, but his claim has yet to be verified. But what is certain is that the latest scandal is providing the opposition with fresh ammunition to apply more pressure on the already politically shaky Brexit coalition. No doubt, uh, t a m a n a t has now become a new lightning rod for the Brexit government, and how the Prime Minister will deal with it is certainly a big challenge. And that's all for Thai PBS World tonight. Thank you for watching.